If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. What's up guys, it's Jacob, and today we're gonna be going over some of the weapons that you need in GTA Online in 2022, 10 to be specific, in no particular order, but if you are new to GTA Online, you see this ammunition full of weapons, and some have level requirements and some others don't, and on today I'm gonna be showing you what weapons you should be really, really focusing on if you are a brand new player, for example. Even if you're a veteran and you may have not even known about how good this weapon is or something, then maybe give it a try. But let's get right into it with number one. One of the most usable and powerful weapons in this game is the Combat MG. Either variant will get the job done, but the Mark II variant specifically is easily one of the best fully automatic rifles in this game by far. And you can use this just about in every activity, PvP, PvE, it doesn't really matter. It is pretty pricey if you get the Mark II version, but it is totally worth it. I don't specifically use an ammo type for it, I just put on the extended clip because personally I don't really think incendiary rounds, you go through them pretty quick, so I don't really think they're worth it. If you could buy them through the interaction menu, maybe they would, but as of right now, you can't. Now next on my list is easily also one of the most versatile weapons in the game, and definitely most powerful in its class, is the AP Pistol. Why this goes on my list is because it is amazingly accurate when you're on foot shooting people with it or in cover, it's got incredible range, but the reason why it is one of the most useful and most versatile weapons is because using it during drive-bys, this is easily the best drive-by weapon in the game by far. Back when I used to do the OG heist, like Pacific Standard and that, getting in an armored Kuruma and having a team of four with an AP pistol, you just drive into a location and just light everything up and before you know it, everyone's dead and then you're just doing the next objective. This thing is really overpowered, especially for drive-bys, probably where it is highlighted the most, but definitely one of the most powerful and most fun pistols to use in the game regardless. Now next up is the Heavy Rifle, which recently came out with a contract DLC. Before the Special Carbine, really any of the ARs were really usable, they were all pretty good. Some of them had its drop off, some of them had their positives, but the Heavy Rifle is incredibly accurate and is definitely the highest in damage class for the ARs. Before it was the Special Carbine or the Carbine Mark II rifles that I would really go to the most, but as of recently with this new heavy rifle, it is really my go-to AR when I'm in gunfights with the cops, with during missions or whatnot. Easily the most powerful AR in the game right now in GTA Online. One of the big downsides is I believe it was hidden behind a paywall you needed to buy the agency and the the gun locker, weaponry, armory, or whatever, so I think that is one of the paywalls or downsides to this weapon, but if you have the money or just the agency in general, definitely, definitely a big, big W. This weapon used to be incredibly hard to obtain, but has now since been in ammunitions for quite a while now, the Up and Atomizer, one of the very, very fun weapons of the game. You shoot this little stun ray gun thing and it sends out this really cool concussion blast. You can use it in rocks or edits or some cinematic things. It's really fun to shoot cars with because they'll just go off the road flying. This used to be one of the greatest weapons to use against people on Oppressor Mark IIs. You shoot the Oppressor Mark IIs or flying by doing a little missile drive by or whatever and they would pop off the bike and usually die because they wouldn't have enough time to parachute because they were ragdolling and they really had no uh, nothing to stop it. Next on the list, we have launchers and throwables and just explosives in general. It's really hard to say, oh, you only need an RPG or you only need a grenade launcher because they are so, so situational. Right now, I'm shooting helicopters down, which you could do with an RPG or a homing RPG, but it gets tougher and tougher when you're actually against some other quickly moving peds to not use a homing launcher. And sticky bombs, for example, you can use while in cars, but you can't use an RPG, for example. So getting all the throwables or most of the launchers is a really really good idea i highly suggest the rpg sticky bomb and homing launchers that is three but i will count it as two kind of in general weapons that you should definitely have in gta online next we have the assault shotgun better known as the full auto shotgun this thing is incredible you get this really really early on in the game too which is kind of surprising for how powerful it is this thing has got great range and it's full auto you can just spray it and you have a massive mag on it too there's really nothing wrong with this weapon 
It excels in close quarters like I mentioned, so if you're in a mission or something and you're in an interior, this is definitely a weapon I would highly, highly suggest. Like if you're doing the Humane Labs raid or something like that, this is an amazing, amazing weapon. Just spray at walls or corners where enemies are at or not peeking, for example. This gun is just so, so amazing. Still easily one of the best weapons to have in GTA Online to this day. Next on the list also has two variants, and that is the Special Carbine. Now I know I just mentioned that the Heavy Rifle is definitely and easily the most damage in its class, but it's always good to have a second AR or just a second variant for situations like having a silencer in the Special Carbine for when you're doing stealth missions. Not that there's too many in the game, but when you need a stealth AR, you'll always have it with the Special Carbine. One of the coolest looking Mark II weapons in the game too, once you get it fully upgraded. Can't lie, one of the best looking guns in the game, period. And when it comes to damage, it probably comes in a close second and easily the second most powerful AR in the game. Now, next, the Heavy Sniper. You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot join a public session without this sniper rifle. It is useful in so many, so many different scenarios, whether you're picking off players and public sessions with this thing amazing has incredible range and now has been changed to where it is a one shot to the chest or sort of the body used to only be a two shot and still a one shot to the head but it has recently been changed i believe last year or the year before where it is now a one shot to the body so you don't technically need the mark ii version or a really a special ammo type for this thing. I have incendiary rounds here in the gameplay I'm using, but when you're shooting cops or PvP players, you'll pretty much get the one shot, one kill with a body shot, but it's always decent. It's always good to aim for the head. This does take a while to unlock, so do yourself a favor if you have an MOC or any weapon workshop in your businesses or whatever just get the mark ii version to skip over the regular heavy sniper period you can just get the mark ii version before you get the heavy sniper itself which is also really really interesting and a fun fact to know about all the mark ii weapons is you don't actually need to get the original weapon to get the mark ii version of it so that is something to also to consider Next one is the Heavy Revolver. I would highly suggest getting the Mark II version of this gun. It's not that expensive, so you could probably spare a few bucks for this thing, because this is also, it's pretty much like a pocket sniper. This thing has got incredible range, and it's got an incredibly OP one shot, one kill to the body or to the chest, which is incredibly useful if you're on PC or on console, Specifically, if you're using controller or you're on console, always aim for the head no matter what gun you, you, you're using. But for this thing, you can get with some really, really cheap one-shot, one-kills to the chest. Not so much to PvP, but it's still a two-shot if you're in PvP with this thing. This thing in the Heavy Sniper is easily one of the most heavy-hitting guns in the game, period. Unless, of course, you're talking explosives, then it doesn't really compare. Well, that is all 10 weapons that you should own in GTA Online in 2022. If you're new, consider subscribing as well as leaving a like and your comments down below for your feedback is also appreciated. And in the meantime, check out some more of my content here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.